and I'm back in for another vlog and this time it'll actually be a vlog uh, not, not like my last video where it was like a skit uh, so yeah this is gonna be more like all the other videos that I've uploaded uh, and I uh, want to talk about conversations, uh, the, the, my conversations that I have, like, uh, I know I've mentioned before in past videos that I'm not good at them, <laughs> uh, cause I, I never know what to say. And I'll think of good stuff to say after the conversation is over. Or maybe I'm just not that interested in the conversation going on. But I have to say, my conversations are getting better slowly. Uh, I mean, like when I was a, a kid or a teenager, uh, talking with other people just involved a, a lot of silence. This actually happened so often that uh, that as I grew older I could actually uh, kind of pinpoint where the conversation would uh, start to stop, I guess. I could just tell when uh, this conversation between me and that person was just going to end and there, there would be silence between us and, and we, we just stop talking together and there just be this awkward sometimes uncomfortable silence uh, going on between us don't you hate that hey what uncomfortable silences why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable I don't know. That's a good question. And now when, when I have a conversation, there's not so much uh, silence during the conversation. Still a little bit, but not as much as before. But now my conversations have kind of turned into an interview style. Where it's usually just one person asking the questions and then another person answering it. And my therapist has uh, talked to me about this and, and he's shown me that uh, when it's an interview style of, of a conversation, then only one person gains knowledge about the other person and and the, the other person won't know anything about uh, about the, the person they had a conversation with so it'll be a one-sided conversation uh, not, not like a back and forth uh, uh, Back, back and forth between the two people, like how a conversation is usually supposed to be. I'm just trying to have a conversation. I'm asking you, are you from Portland? What's usually the punchline? The punchline is usually that you tell me. Uh -huh. Oh, and then you That's do a riff on it. So I'll, okay, yeah, I get it. You tell me where you grew up, and then we make connections as human beings. That's one right. option or with me and it's a conversation between more than two people 
uh, what, what kind of happened is I'll be talking with one person and I'll say something or the other person will say something and then then the third person will jump in and then it'll just turn into a conversation between those two people and I'm out of the conversation and I can't can't find a way back into it. It's like trying to jump into a jump rope when people are, are doing the jump rope. <laughs> Another thing is that I'm kind of afraid of interrupting people so I'll just wait until there is a pause in the conversation or wait until the other person is finished speaking and, and then I'll talk. So if two people are having a conversation with each other and, and I just need to speak with one person, uh, I'll just kind of wait on the side next to them and wait until that one person acknowledges me and talks to me instead of just saying like, excuse me, can I talk to you? Because because I don't know where to interrupt in the conversation or, or how to interrupt so that I'm not interrupting them or, or talking over them. But then if I don't do that, then I might not uh, have a conversation like that. Or the moment where I was going to say one thing will pass and I can't say that thing anymore because we're on to a different subject. And I hate it when people interrupt me because then that throws off my train of thoughts and that they're already, you know, struggling to come out of my head. And then when someone interrupts me, it's like I'm totally lost. Uh, but if someone finishes my sentence uh, for, for me, then it's it's great for me because then I know we're on the same page, uh, and I I don't have to talk <laughs> as much as that. Because I mean, even though. I'm getting better at conversations. I still don't like talking to people. And I don't like small talk. I mean, small talk for me is just, hi, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Or, or how's your day going? That's basically my small talk. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. So you're good? Yeah, you've been good? Yeah, I've been good. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, good seeing you. Good seeing you. You take care. You take care, too. Bye. And one last thing is conversation cues or uh, saying something and really meaning another. Uh, yeah, I'm not good at those unless they're really obvious. So I don't really try to understand that kind of stuff. When I say thank you so much for coming, that is code for go away now. <laughs> don't you understand that? Obviously not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I always thought that meant thank you so much for coming. I is there anything else you said that was in code that I didn't understand? And I may have given cues that I don't mean to or, or did something that I didn't mean to do. So, yeah, I don't under really understand them, so I don't worry about them. So, yeah, that's me and having conversations with people uh, in person anyway. I did another video about me uh, having conversations on the phone and through texting and other means of communications. Uh, you can go watch that one and 
and like to some extent vlogging this thing that I'm doing is sort of a one-sided conversation I'm just talking and no one else is talking back to me so I guess that's why I like this more than talking to people because I'm kind of talking to people but I don't have to see them or or listen to their responses and, and other stuff so yeah maybe that's why I do this vlogging yeah so that's all for this video and until next video goodbye